been an exciting year for us from a program delivery standpoint. We're still de uh, delivering some of the largest programs in our history, largely because of President Biden's uh, Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, but also Governor Whitmer's Rebuilding Michigan program. We've been able to deliver some extremely large projects on our high volume, high value economic freight corridors throughout the state. In addition, we've been working closely with our local agency partners on bridge bundling, an innovative contracting method to really get a lot of these smaller bridges all around the state uh, built at an economy of scale. From an electrification standpoint, Michigan continues to lead on that front as well. Like many other states, we're delivering our NEVI program and, and building out the network on our alternate fuel corridors. But we've also installed the first quarter mile of inductive wireless charging in the city of Detroit in the streets. So this is gonna be a good uh, test case for us to figure out what the use cases might be for this going forward. Uh, in addition, on mobility itself, we've installed our state's first high occupancy vehicle lanes on I-75 and Metro Detroit. In addition, we're building many more miles of our flex lanes that are going to help on I-96 and US-23 with congestion in the future. So I, I look forward to talking to you again next year because we have a lot going on as well in the Vita X and connected autonomous vehicle space, working closely with a company named Cavenue on providing an autonomous driving lane on I-94. So lots of great things going on in Michigan.